Hey everybody, Konar here, and welcome back to more NCAA Football 2005. In the last episode, we defeated Cincinnati 72-10, a big victory against our in-state rival, because, you know, Cincinnati, you know, they try, but we always get the W's. And now it's week three here in the college football season, and let's take a look at the top 25 polls here. As you can see, USC is number one, Oklahoma number two, Florida State has moved up to number three, Georgia remains at four, Texas moves up to five, we have moved up to number six in the country, Michigan's move up to seventh, and wow, Michigan played Cincinnati's rival Miami University in Ohio, and um, they beat them by 48 points, but they beat Miami, Ohio by 48 points, but we beat Cincinnati by 62 points so we obviously did better than Michigan obviously and then here's the rest of the um the rest of the poll Miami slips to 12 LSU slips to 13th a lot of crazy stuff happening and Purdue is now in the top 25 and Clemson slipped 10 spots to number 25 in the polls wow now let's take a look at the media poll, the AP poll, and it seems the AP uh, moved up to us to 7th instead of 9th. So in the coaches poll, we are now, we were 8th, now we're 6th, and in the AP poll, we were 9th, now we're 7th. And I think that's pretty rude, they put a, they put a Michigan above us. Like seriously, Why? And then uh, we got some new Heisman hopefuls. Halfback number 34 for USC is now in the top 5 for the Heisman. And linebacker number 34 for Florida State is in the Heisman race. And your national players of the week are quarterback from Hawaii and the linebacker from Florida State. But let's see who was the Big Ten player of the week. Defensive player of the week was um, Dustin Fox. And then the quarterback for Penn State was the Big Ten Offensive Player of the Week. Let's see archived, archived covers. I was confident heading into rivalry game. They weren't when they played Florida State. I also said some here uh, about Ohio State. Dustin Fox is honored after Ohio State opens 2004 with a victory over Cincinnati. Yep. But now, this episode, we're going to play Marshall. The Marshall Thundering Herd. So let's go play against the herd. Don't you just love these freaking, freaking simulations? Have to wait till everything's all simulated. Okay, before we do that, before we play our game, let's see who lost. Because I'm pretty sure there was a couple upsets. Okay, Georgia didn't lose. West Virginia didn't lose. Wow, Notre Dame almost upset Michigan. That would have been hilarious. Southern Miss upset Nebraska in overtime. Wow, that's got to suck. Utah beat Arizona. Temple upset Maryland. Wow. Alright. So, probably nothing's going to change in the AP poll. Well, the coaches poll after that. After this week. So, here we go. Marshall versus Ohio State. Let's do it. And a little fun fact about this game in 2004. Um, Marshall almost beat Ohio State. Yeah, they almost beat Ohio State in 2004. Don't know why, but they almost did. 
my key players are Dustin Fox, Justin Zwick, and San Antonio Holmes, so obviously they are ready to win. Win the football game. Which I hope we do. And it's a night game. Who would have thought? And it's a national broadcast, so it's probably on ABC right now. Ha uh -huh. ha. And here come the Buckeyes. Oh, yes. And here come the Buckeyes. Yeah. Ah, huh, Justin Zwick's fifth in the conference for yards, for passing yards, and tied for fourth for touchdowns, I'm pretty sure it said, or something, I don't know. All right, here we go with the coin toss. And Marshall has won the toss, and they are going to receive, which means we will get the ball in the second half. Ohio State. All right, time for some primetime football here. Mike Nugent to kick this off, and we're underway. And that's going to be a touchback. All right. No chance for a return. Oh, off the crossbar of the of the field goal post. Let's go dog zone blitz here. Oh, yeah. They aren't able to do anything because of the crowd noise. Oh, yeah. And tackled by Anthony Schlegel. One yard gain. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's continue on with that dog zone blitz. Okay, they got to be passing here this time around. Okay, they run again. All right, we're limiting to one to two yards. That's good. Let's run that same play again and pump up the crowd. Tap that L2 button. Yep. Oh, almost got sacked, and that's going to be a three and out here. Time for Marshall to punt to us. Come on, Marshall. Give us the football. We need the football because we deserve the football. So we played good defense. All right, it's an okay punt. I'm gonna go run this way and hopefully I get some coverage. Not a lot of good coverage. San Antonio Holmes trying to get there. Not a lot of, not a lot of stuff I can do there. All right, let's go strong normal. Running back crosses. They come out at a nickel. They'll throw on first down. Gonna throw it deep to San Antonio Holmes. That's tipped and incomplete. He had the pick and he dropped it. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Yeah, but that defender had a perfect shot at it. He just didn't catch it. All right, this time we're going deep post. Marshall has all their DBs in for this five wide I'm gonna throw it to Roy Hall and it's incomplete again. Well he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Man the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. It's third down and ten. Ball on their own forty six. Marshall puts six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver. Gonna throw it to Bam Childress and it's incomplete. We knew this drive was in trouble if they couldn't get the pass game going. 
And the fans aren't happy because they know he got pass interfered. But now we're going to have to punt the ball away. Punt the ball away, of course. And Josh Houston will punt the ball away for the Buckeyes. Number 23 gets it off. And here comes Roy Hall to make the tackle. And now Marshall's on their own 13-yard line after that punt. Okay, that was a yard. I gained him one yard. Now it's time to pump up the crowd with that L2. Come on, pump it up more, pump it up more, pump it up more. And tackled by Anthony Schlegel for a loss. Okay, nope, 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 we are not, we are not getting penalized because of that crap. We are not getting penalized. Now tap that button. Yeah, now we got full loudness. And sacked. So who sacked him? I want to see who sacked him. I was number five. And it was Mike D'Andrea. If I'm pronouncing that right, Mike D'Andrea, Mike D'Andrea. Hopefully, I'm hopefully I'm pronouncing his uh, last name right. That was a pretty good sack. And yep, we're just gonna let that bounce. Let it bounce. Sail down the punt at the 29. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field. So yeah, Marshall's punt actually helped us technically. Okay, we're gonna go back to running back crosses this time. We're gonna we're gonna pass it again, even though it didn't work out the last time. We're 0 for 3 now in passes. Oh, come on, catch this Antonio, and it's incomplete again. And the fans are angry because he know he got interfered, but it was a no call. All right, time to go halfback blast this time around. Oh yeah, Lydell Ross. And he's got the first down. Great run by the tailback. On that play, the defense looked a little overmatched there. They just got swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. It's first and ten. Ball on the 18. The thundering herd bring in their dive package. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down. And not a lot of run there. Also, if you're wondering what the LP profile stands for, it stands for Let's Play, so... Yeah, this is the Let's Play profile, so... Ah... Uh, frick, 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 frick. Now let's go tight end post. It's about time we do another passing play, but this time with tight ends. The defense lines up with six DB. Well, technically, it's not all tight ends. It's some wide receivers, and that's a that's a first down. Roy Hall with the reception. All we gotta do is run it in. So let me find my fullback dive, and we'll just run it in with Brandon Joe. Almost. All right, let's run it again. Let's run it again. I'm holding down triangle. Nothing's happening. Uh, no, Brandon, do not celebrate. We do not want to get another 15-yard penalty for unsportsmanlike. There we go. Now, please do not celebrate or else we'll have to kick a long, long, long extra point. Okay, cool. We don't have to do that now. Alright, we score first. Yes, sir. Now Mike Nugent to attempt the extra point, and he's got it. It's good. It's good. And he tacks on the extra point. Less than two to go in our first quarter of play. The score, Ohio State 7, Marshall 
nothing. Ohio State to kick. Number 34 and number 26 back ready to return. Kicks it off. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they have the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow play. <laughs> the commentators forgot Marshall had the ball. Set up shot at the 20-yard line. Ohio State may have trouble covering the five wide receivers on the field as they come out in a 44 pass. Okay, somehow they knew they that we were blitzing. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play. All right, time for the monster three. Oh boy. Ball on the 39 yard line. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now they're not having much luck at all. They'll throw on first down. Steps up. He's going left. Incomplete pass. Wow, that pass had some velocity, Kirk. Well, I think here the quarterback panicked a little bit and rifled it as hard as he could. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 39. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. It's just right. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Yeah. Okay, nope. We are not getting penalized for unsportsmanlike. Nope. That's not going to happen. Alright, we got man-to-man -man coverage here on 3rd and 12. This place is starting to get fired up. Drop back to pass. He's looking for his man. Oh, pick that off. Alright, we're good. Nope. Not going to do it. We are not having... An unsportsmanlike conduct penalty going against us. We are not getting penalized for unsportsmanlike conduct. And uh, nothing we can do there. Let's go running back crosses this time. Again. Alright, here we go. Oh, San Antonio Holmes. He was a no call. He was being interfered with. And of course, no call. Thanks, refs. You are literally making us look like a joke out here. Marshall. All their DBs in for this five wide set. He drops back. Oh, that is a that's a catch by Bam Childress. Alright, let's go with halfback week. It's first and ten. They're in the red zone. The offense got six the last time they were inside the Oh yeah, look at that. What they do here. He tries to spin. Tackle. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. Interesting decision here. Okay, hurry up to line, hurry up to line. So we can audible this play. Audible triangle. Don't know what that meant, but okay. And he's tackled. The back gets three on the carry. Oh, please. Of course you don't see him celebrating. You're not going to throw a flag for him, but you'll throw a flag for us. Wow. Refs are biased here in this game. They do not like Ohio State for some odd reason. And we're just going to run the football in here and get a first down. All right. Another light L Ross first down and we're gonna we're gonna continue on the jam here. We're gonna hike it again and they make the stop. Gain of two. Trying to get Marshall all tired up. They're crowding that line of scrimmage on the ground with a tailback. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Alright. Time for a new plan. Oh wait, 
Penalize him, please? Please? Of course. They don't penalize the computer for unsportsmanlike, but they penalize us. Option pass. Oh boy, this could be bad. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. Oh, this was a terrible decision here. I was trying to pass it, but obviously the option thing just got in my way, and I was obviously couldn't do anything about it. So now we have to go for a field goal. All right, we got three points. Obviously, I'm not happy about it, but yeah, we had to get points somehow. And touchback. And they can forget about returning this one. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 20 yard line. This time we're doing mad robber. Ohio State may have trouble covering the five wide receivers on the field as they come out of 44 defense. He lost this one over. Oh, the pick it off. All right, we're good. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Okay, no one got penalized on that one. Good thing. To be honest, I think the Marshall player should have gotten a penalty for unsportsmanlike because he started. But oh well, the game just decides to do whatever. And AJ Hawk sacks the quarterback. Okay, AJ, we do not need you celebrating because we do not want to get penalized because if we do, we are, we're screwed. Okay, I'm saying it as it is, we're screwed. Pick it off, it's picked off by Nate Saley. What a pick. What a pick by Nate Saley. Welcome to the Ohio State University. Yes. In indeed. 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 Welcome to the Ohio State University, Marshall. You have met your strongest opponent of the season. And I'm gonna go back to running back cross as you know it hasn't been successful recently. Marshall. This time we're gonna throw to Roy Hall. And he caught it! It's a touchdown, Ohio State! What a catch! I would love to see the replay on that. And the fans are going crazy! Let's take a look at that instant replay. Did he catch that with one hand? I think he caught it with one hand! Oh, nope, he got it with both hands. But that's neat. Roy Hall with that touchdown reception. And now, Ohio State will attempt the extra point. Mike Nugent to kick. And it's good. And it's of course. Over three minutes remain in the second quarter, and the score is Ohio State 17, Marshall nothing. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. This one's going to come back to the 20. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. It's first and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Number 34 alone in the backfield. All right. First and 10 here. On the ground with the tailback. A and the blitz and didn't work down. for some reason. Somehow it didn't work. Let's try it again. Yeah, that one, that time that worked. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. Third and six. 
Ball on the 24 yard line. Number 34. Come on, Marshall. Pass the ball. You know if you run, you're going to fail. They pass it, and Nate Saley almost picked off the football again. But it's an incomplete pass, and it's going to be fourth and six for Marshall. A three and out for the Thundering Herd. Number 41, to put this one away. Number 41 gets it off. All right. This looks returnable. It is returnable. And whoa. Um, can only get to the 50-yard line. All right. Very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. Shotgun five wide. Middle attack. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Marshall has all their DBs in for this five wide set. Looking to throw to Bam Childress. And he's got it. And that's a first down. And the fans are going crazy. All right, going to go with wide receiver slants here. It's first and goal here. Ball on the nine, and now looking for a receiver. Going to throw to Roy Hall. Incomplete, and obviously no call for interference. Why am I surprised? Caught by Santori Holmes as he's in! Touchdown, Ohio State! What a catch. Look at that. Caught it. And in for six. Now it's time to attempt the extra point. Mike Nugent to kick. Troy Smith to hold it down. All right, time for Mad Robber. Number 34, the lone back. They'll throw on first down. And obviously Mad Robber didn't work out that time, okay? A good throw, plus a nice catch. Dog zone blitz now. Equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. Ohio State may have trouble covering the five wide receivers. And Bobby Carpenter sacks the quarterback. Marshall takes a timeout. What a play. All right, let's coach up that defensive line here. Get this crowd all pumped up. He drops back. Here they come. And Bobby Carpenter sacks the quarterback again. They came after him hard there. Yeah, they sure did. And Lee, I think the quarterback felt that pressure. And the fans are loving it. Let's keep running that same play. Marshall's 0 for 5 on third down conversions. Can they make it 1 for 6 or 0 for 6? Let's see. Looks like they're going to run some of the clock down to just run the football. And, and you know what? I'm calling timeout. Just because. Okay, no. We are not celebrating Anthony Schlegel. Going to coach up the D-line and return middle. We were not going to have that today. We are not doing any unsportsmanlike stuff today. 
Okay, seriously, it's pretty annoying. Number 41 gets it off. All right, can we get some coverage? Ah, uh, boy, that's not good coverage. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. Let's go shotgun five wide. Middle attack. They'll get the ball here at the 49. Marshall may have trouble covering the five wide receivers on the field as they come out in a 44 defense. They'll throw on first down. Looks rolling out to the left. And side. Bam Childress, he's got it. Whoa, that was a horse collar tackle, but of course they don't call it because they just don't in this game. Oh, that's Bam Childress' ball. Touchdown, Ohio State. Wow. That was easy. All right, we're up by 30 points. Time to go crazy. Go for two. Let's run up the score here, folks. And we got it. Two-point conversion. 32 to zero. All right, all right, let's go, let's go. Ohio State to kick this one off. Kicks it off. No chance for a return, it'll come out to the 20. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 20 yard line. They come out with four linebackers. Fullback, handoff. They'll bring him down. Tackled. Of about three. Second and seven coming up here. Ball in the 23. Marshall. All right, let's see what Marshall will do here. And he's short. Well, of course they're going to run. I mean, it's not like they're going to throw the ball. So let's get another pointless first down. Oh, nope, they let the time run out. Okay. Alright. So far, so good. All right, so let's go with in-game strategy. Whoa, plus 11 overall? Really? Hmm. Well, you know what? Time to give uh, some time for Troy Smith to play some football. So putting in Troy Smith as the, as the quarterback for the second half. Just because, why not? Here's the kick. Four, and here's San Antonio Holmes to return the kick, and he he did pretty okay right there. All right, let's see. What do we want here today? Let's go slot flat post. They'll start this drive at the 27-yard line. And here's Troy Smith to come in at quarterback. Bring in the nickel They'll throw on first down. And oh, look at that. Yeah, you can see I'm running as Troy Smith. He's gonna take off. He's into the open and that's got to be a first down right there. Ah, uh, almost. Which brings me to my second plan of today. Run the football. We ran with Troy Smith, now it's time to run with Lydell Ross. Because, yeah, you guys forgot that Troy Smith was mobile. Troy Smith, 
He is the original dual threat quarterback. Literally, he is. And I will prove it. You saw him run, now watch him pass. The thundering herd, line up in a nickelback. He rolls left. Watch it all going deep. Well, that's not how I intended it for that to happen. Let's try it again, maybe. He does his best to knock the ball down. The herd bring in the nickel package. Back to pass. Looking. Throwing it to Roy Hall. Wow, he did not turn around for that football. Yeah, typically you'll see this when teams are having success with a particular player. They feel confident about a play's chances. In this case, the defense was well prepared. Okay, we're going to go wide receiver corners, but I'm going to see if I can try to run the football with Troy Smith. Marshall lines up in a dime defense here. He's scrambling. Yep, we're scrambling. And obviously that didn't work. Well, might as well punt it. Ugh. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 23 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 26 calls for the fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And now we'll see the offense coming out out of the field for their next possession. All right, time for dog zone blitz. At the 20. Number 34, the lone back. And tackled by AJ Hawk. That's what I'd love to see. A linebacker. Okay, no, we are not. We're not getting into fights. We do not want fights. We just want points. And this stadium is getting loud. He drops back. Rolls to the right. Pick it. Eh, that's fine. He let his receiver a little too much. One of the things you look for when you have a young quarterback is how he releases the football. Here you can see he releases the ball a little bit early, a sign that he wasn't completely comfortable with what he was seeing. Drops back to pass. And he's hammered as he lets it go. The pressure may have forced the incompletion there. And now Marshall's going to have to punt it away. And nothing San Antonio Holmes could do there. All right. Let's go with safety divide. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Number 30 lines up as a single back. Back to pass. Rolls Throwing it to San Antonio Holmes, and he's got it. What a catch by San Antonio Holmes. Sometimes you can catch the defense napping a little bit. Their last red zone. Gonna call an audible. I don't expect this one to be any different. He drops back. Gonna throw it to Roy Hall, and that was incomplete. He overshot his receiver by a mile. Whoa, Nelly. Pull back on those reins a bit. Well, we knew this guy had a strong arm, but that was ridiculous. Yeah, it was. Ohio State will line up in a jumbo set here. Ah, thought I had thrown to Hamby. All right, let's try it again. Gonna throw it to number 87, and it's tipped and incomplete. All right, time to kick the field goal. 26 yards. This should be an easy field goal. He gets it up. And it is good. 
Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. Ohio State lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. All right, here we go. Another defensive drive here for us. They'll throw on first down. Oh, pick that off. It's picked off. Picked off by Quinn Pitcock. Defense to get the ball back. All right. Time for Troy Smith to throw this ball into the end zone for a touchdown. It all starts with a middle attack. On the good field position here. Ohio State lines up in a shotgun set. Throwing it deep to Bam Childress, and he's got it. Touchdown, Ohio State. And now Mike Nugent to attempt the extra point. And he hits the PAT. And just over two minutes left here in the third. The score is Ohio State 42, Marshall nothing. Ohio State is ready to kick it away. Number 34 and number 26 deep to return. Kicks it off. And this one's going to come back to the 20. The defense did a nice job of shutting All down right. the offense the last time they had the ball. The offense Let's go back to dog zone blitz since that worked out perfectly last time. They'll set up shot at the 20. Ohio State may have trouble covering the five wide receivers on the field as they come out to 44 defense. Back to pass. Looks. He's looking down the middle. Complete. Brought down. That last pass was good for maybe five yards. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Number four lines up in the shotgun. He's looking across the middle. They'll bring him down. How do you like that pass, Lee? I don't know about the pass, but the result, a first down, ha, that's what I like. Okay, let's try it again. Don't know how Marshall's somehow becoming good right now. Don't know why, but it needs to stop. Oh, that's a pick! Oh, Dustin Fox almost picked it. Nope, we are not celebrating. We are not celebrating. I am not losing 15 yards to any team because of that crap. Yeah, be happy that you did it, but don't go it off and celebrating like you know what you're doing because you don't. Like, seriously, that's like going overboard with the celebration. We got to stop celebrating... Be happy that you made a play. Just don't go overboard with it. Oh, and A.J. Hawk just says destroyed the quarterback. And the quarterback is angry. He's like, darn it, I should have had it. And now it's time for San Antonio Holmes to return this punt. Let's see if we can get some good coverage on here. Uh, can we find a hole? No, we cannot. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. All right, time to go shotgun formation. Let's go zigs out this time. They'll start this drive at the 48. 48 yard. Marshall has all their DBs in. The Troy Smith, he's going to throw it. it over the and touchdown, San Antonio Holmes. What a pass. By Troy Smith. 
Bro, I think Troy Smith could throw deep passes better than Justin Zwick. Seriously. I think I'm going to keep Troy Smith as my quarterback for the remainder of the season. Even though Justin Zwick's a better overall than, you know, Troy Smith, I'm still thinking Troy Smith is the better, you know, quarterback out here in, on this football field because he can throw it deep and he can scramble. Again, dual threat quarterback, people. He is a dual threat quarterback. But unfortunately not for, you know, Justin Zwick because he is slow. Go Matt Robber this time. Alright, looks like they're going to run it, but let's see if they do. Nope, they're going to pass. And here comes the boom. And incomplete. Alright. The thing about this offense is it's an offense based on timing. Here you can see their timing was knocked off by the blitz, and the result was an incomplete pass. That's how you got to play it. Ohio State may have trouble covering the five wide receivers on the field as they come out And sacked by A.J. Hawk. Okay, nope, we are not fighting. Alright, third down for Marshall. They're 0 for 8 today on third down conversions. They're dropping back to pass. Scrambles and just throws it out of there. Man, Anthony Schlegel just destroyed him. Whoa, that is impressive. Throwing it. He was trying to throw it to the left, but it threw it all the way to the right. That's impressive. That is very impressive what that quarterback just did. Throw, trying to throw the ball away to the left, but it throws away to the right. Give him an A for creativity. All right. Oh, yep, this was a terrible return. No coverage at all, but don't worry. Troy Smith's about to go deep. He's about to throw this ball deep. With the middle attack. He's going to throw this ball to Bam Childress. And it's going to be a touchdown. Just watch. Look at this. He's going to throw it deep. Okay, it wasn't for a touchdown, but hey. It's a pretty good pass. Pretty good pass. Pretty good pass. And look, the fans love football because they do. Everybody at Ohio State loves football. And throw to Bam Childress. That's oh really? All right, we're all good. Time for some quick crosses, though. All right, Santonio San Holmes, you're my target. Let's go. Touchdown! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Out of bounds! Out of bounds! Boo! Boo! I say boo! That was terrible. Okay, this time he's got it. Okay, you know what? <sighs> Yeah, I might as well go for the field goal. I mean, I will get over 50 points. I mean... Alright, time to kick this field goal. And psych, I'm throwing the football to Ryan Hemby! It's incomplete and... Dang it! I seriously thought Hemby was getting freaking pass interfered. And why is our band playing our one of our songs even though we didn't, you know, get a first down or a touchdown? Marshall lines up in a bunch formation. He drops back. Under heavy pressure. Oh, pick that off. Okay, Simon, no, nope, 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 nope. We are not we are not celebrating. So quiet down. Jesus! Every time, every time we have 
a good a good and there's a oh you what is the flag for now holding on the offense hmm uh, decline and Marshall's coach is angry he's like what is this rah 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 Dude was angry. Well, thankfully, we got a call on Marshall because obviously they've been getting away with a lot of calls. And that's a safety! Safety! D'Andrea with the safety sack! And that is 50 points! We have reached over 50 points. Let's see that sack again! Mike D'Andrea! Just sack the quarterback for a safety. And that's the end of the third quarter. Ohio State leads 51-0. And now Marshall has to punt the ball to us. Yay! I love Marshall punting the ball to us. And here comes Ashton Yabodi. Ashton Yabodi! Gets a few yards on that return. Alright, time for... um. The man, the myth, the legend, Troy Smith, to throw the ball deep to his receiver and get a first down. Okay. Who wasn't covering their man? We got sacked the heck out of. And I'm not doing that crap. So everybody hurry up to the line. And guard your man this time. Marshall put six DBs on the field to counter this five. Oh, that's to Roy Hall. It it's incomplete. It's Shoot. And got in there and broke that one up. <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on the 28 yard line. Marshall brings in the nickel here. Oh, he is wide open. Wide open, Santonio Holmes. A third down conversion that we needed, and we got it. All right, now we're hurrying up to the line again. Santonio Holmes, he's got this. Yep, told you, touchdown, Ohio State. Santonio Holmes. Because he is the new Mr. Clutch here. Since Michael Jenkins went to the NFL, we gotta, you know, call somebody Mr. Clutch, and that man is San Antonio Holmes. You know what? Let's go run up the score. Let's run up the score. Let's get to 59 points. And we couldn't get to 59 points. Oh well. They're already blowing them out. They need to learn how to win and win like they try to run out the score, but it didn't work. Oh well. We'll try again later. And number 34, back deep to return. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And this one's gonna come. And a touchback. And now the offense makes its way onto the field. And he's hoping that this time to Alright, time for our silver bullet defense to uh, destroy Marshall once again. Pick it. It's dropped. Dropped by the wide All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. Those uh, those fans were holding up a sign that said Herb Street for President. <laughs> well, it's technically normal because Kirk Herbstreit used to be the quarterback at Ohio State. A little fun fact for you if you didn't know that. And out of bounds. Short of the first down. It is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on their own 29. They line up in the jumbo set. Up the middle. And nowhere to go. Okay, nope. Nope. Not getting in a fight. Not getting into a fight. And now it is time for Marshall to punt the ball away to us. The drive stalls and they'll have to punt it away. Number 41 
gets it off. And San Antonio Holmes has the football, and here we go. Good kick return. Well, punt return. All right. Time for Troy Smith to uh, get us another touchdown. Going to throw to Roy Hall. Oh, whoa. Hold on. That had to be some pass interference right there because dude just hit him before the ball even got to him. Seriously. Going to screen pass to Bam Children's and he dropped it. Wow. An easy screen pass and he dropped it. All right. Well, we'll figure out something. Third down and ten coming up. Ball on the forty-one. Marshall has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. He rolls left. He's going to air it long. Oh yeah! What a pass. Troy Smith to Bam Childress. Let's go for the fullback dive. Touchdown, Ohio State. Okay, no. Do not celebrate. We are not celebrating because I want to go for two now. To make it 65 to zero. Because, why not? And we got it. Sixty-five to zero. Now I know this is probably not going to be happening in the next episode where we play NC State at NC State. It's probably going to be a little bit more tough football game there. But who knows? Oh yeah, I forgot. He passes it. The crowd noise. Oh come on. Oh come on. And they make the stop. And they get the first down on that completion, coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. Alright, we gotta pump up this crowd here. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Rolling out to the right side. And sacked, sacked again. by Quinn Pitcock. One big sack party out there. I feel sorry for this quarterback. He's taking a beating. He's been taking some serious hits all day long. Lee. Pump up the crowd. Can't get it to maximum power. Incomplete. Batted down by AJ Hawk, and we are not having you celebrate, AJ. No. No celebration. We're happy that you, you know, stopped the pass, but we do not need you to over-exaggerate the celebration. Seriously. Do not go far with the celebration. And sacked by Mike D'Andrea. Mike D'Andrea. All right, time for San Antonio Holmes to uh, get a good putt return. Looks like they're gonna putt away here. Let's go, San Antonio. He gets it away. Ow. 
No punt coverage on that, so obviously nothing I can do there. Shotgun, five wide, middle attack. Alright, get ready for Troy Smith to just absolutely dominate this throw. Well, couldn't do anything on that one. Yeah, Brad, that doesn't make too much sense to me. You got the lead. Just run the football. Keep the clock running. I don't care. I want to run up the score. Number 10 lines up in the shotgun. Drop back to pass. He rolls. Oh, he's got that one. Yeah, he does. What an outstanding play that one. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And he ran it to perfection. Now let's hurry up to the line. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And our players of the game is San Antonio Holmes for Ohio State. And then some guy for Marshall. Ohio State comes out with five receivers. He's looking. He guns it to the left. Touchdown, San Antonio Holmes! And now we're going to attempt the extra point because I do not want to go for two. Even though I want to, I still don't want to. And we got the extra point. All right. All right. 72 to zero. This is going to be another 72 points scored on a team. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable here. I know I ain't going to score 72 on NC State, that's for sure. They're probably going to give us a football game. No. No fight. No fights. It's second down now. 14 to go. We do not need any fights. Because fighting is stupid. Comes to the line, only one man in the and what a takedown by Anthony Schlegel. And now it is time for third down. 0 for 12 today for Marshall on third down conversions. Will it be 0 for 13? We'll have to see. It's 0 for 13. AJ Hawk just sacked him hard. Timeout. I call it timeout because why? Because I want to score again. I want to get more points. I want to run up the score. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number 41 punts it and he didn't get much distance on it. How much distance? That's fine. Because here comes San Antonio Holmes. Ah! Oh, if I would have stayed in bounds, he would have been gone. Oh well. Quick cross. Quick cross. Here we go. Oh, Roy Hall's got this. And he's got it. Touchdown, Ohio State. Now let's see. What can we do here? Go for two. Because why not? Why not run up the score? Not what we expected, but it's the Touchdown! That's 80 points.
number 26 fields it in the end zone. So the offense All right, they take the knee. And now it is time to end the game with a mad robber. Possibly. Probably not. Probably be a few more plays. I'll pick it off. Okay, don't know how he did that, but... Weird. He just throws it up short in the air and somehow it's caught. Oh, do not let him get another one of those. I was going to say, if they got another catch like that, it was going to be stupid. Alright, time for the final play of the game here. What will Marshall do? It's caught. They spun move us and got the first down, but it's over. And I don't know what Marshall's mascot's doing celebrating. They lost. And that's the game. Ohio State wins 80 to 0. A shutout victory for the Buckeyes. You know, this just boggles the mind. Like, I beat Marshall 80 to 0, but the 2004 team couldn't beat Marshall by 80. And they instead beat Marshall by 3, 24 to 21 in real life. But somehow, when I play Marshall, I handle them easily 80 to 0. Well. Interesting. Very interesting. But either way, that's a W. And that means Troy Smith is going to be the starting quarterback for this team now. He has basically proven that he can, you know, win games for us. So, yeah. Troy Smith, starting quarterback. Ah, campus challenge. Don't need a campus challenge. Box score. Eh, pretty good. But the fourth quarter, wow, 29 points in the fourth. That's big. <coughs> 567 yards of total offense. That's impressive. <coughs> Excuse me. 15 rushes for 38 yards. 17 completions out of 37 attempts and 8, eight were touchdowns. Cool. 529 passing yards. Sacked only twice. So I am. They're pretty good. Alright. Let's move along. And we're advancing the week! Week 4! Oh boy! Oh cool! I unlocked a pennant! I unlocked the all-time USC football team! <coughs> cool! Interesting. And don't want to save yet. And looky here, we have a top 25 matchup against NC State in Raleigh, North Carolina. And that's going to be played in the next episode. So, with that guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching this brand new episode of NCAA Football 2005. If you enjoyed it, smack a like on it, subscribe if you're new to this channel, check out my other videos I've uploaded to my channel. And I shall see you guys next time for more NCAA Football 2002. I mean, 2002, 2005, ugh. Let me do that again. I'll see you guys next time for more NCAA Football 2005. There we go. Not 2002. Why did I say it? I don't know. Probably a brain fart, possibly. But with that, guys, I'll see you guys later.